Hey Kelly, what you reading? Oh man, bro, this is such a good book. Super dope book. Good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. This is my story. This is my ministry. What I do is I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly. But the objective is right now is for educational purpose. It's like right now for deterring these kids from making bad decisions, letting them understand that, guess what? You are better than what you think you are. You are smarter than what you think you are. Here it is right now is you do not have to be a victim of circumstance. You do not have to be a product of your environment. A lot of times people like to use that excuse. Well, I grew up in the projects, so I'm a product of my environment. Well, my father, my mother was addicted to drug or alcohol, so I'm a product of my environment. Hey, folks, listen, man. Guess what? I seen some people been through some tough time and right now they didn't use it as an excuse. What they did is they use it as a motivation factor to make sure that guess what? History don't continue to repeat itself, man. So with that being said, listen, man, if you want to know anything about Brian Glaze Gibbs, Google. Go to www.google.com and Google the name Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Glaze. G-L-A-Z-E, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, and see what you come up with. And like I say right now, is a lot of things you're not going to like. Because right now, between the age of 14 and 24, I couldn't stand that person. You know why? Because I want to be a product of my environment. I became something that I wasn't. I want to be down. I want to be cool. I did everything in my life from A to Z that I'm ashamed of, that I'm embarrassed of. I destroyed my community. I poisoned my community. I hurt, killed people. For what? I got blood on my hand. For what? Folks, listen, when you know better, you do better. I had to get help. And a lot of times right now, we don't want to understand. We don't want to admit that we need help. And today, what I'm going to talk about is this, man. You know what? Um, I see 50 Cent. Shout out to 50 Cent. What he about to do is, I guess he gonna do the Boy George story, the George River story, the Jane, the Puerto Rican James Bond of the Bronx. And right now is he put up something in regards to Dapper Dan. Anybody know anything about Dapper Dan? Guess what? He was one of those guys that right now made his own, like Louis Coat, Gucci, them saying Fendi, you name it. He had it. He did it. Right now, everybody used to go to Dapper Dan to get gears. And he used to do all type of design and stuff. You name it. And everybody went up there to that shop to shop with him. So once again, Dapper Dan, a legend legend. Shout out to um, Dapper Dan. He made a statement right now. Was, and what he was saying is this. Let me see if we can hear it loud. Yo, who's this nigga Alpo, man? He said, who's this nigga Alpo? He said he don't even have as much money as my lieutenants. The first day George came to the store to the, to the boutique, he said, yo, who's this nigga Alpo, man? He said, who's this nigga Alpo? He said, he don't even have as much money is my lieutenants. So here it is right now. What Dapper Dan is saying is this, right? Back then, Boy George, because they hit a name Alpo. You see the movie Paid in Full? Alpo made his soul rest in peace. You know what? They did the movie Paid in Full. Who played him? Cameron. And right now, was guess what? What happened is, drug dealer, making fast money, like fly guy, got all the jewelry, all the fancy cars, the girls flocked around him. So once again, Alpo name been in the street for years. I think the first time I ever heard of Alpo, I think, I don't know, like 84, 85. And even with that being said, I can remember me and a buddy of mine being up in a fever. And when you're up in a disco fever, guess what? 
You know, here it is, my buddy pulled a girl that Alpo was trying to talk to or whatever, and he took her home. But anyway, Alpo and they was out there. So here it is, Alpo did his thing, and boy, Georgia, you know, both Puerto Ricans, they was doing their thing on a different level. So once again, he's supposed to have went to Dapper Dan. Like, you know, you know, every time I look around, I'm hearing about this name, Alpo, Alpo this, Alpo that, Alpo this. And then guess what? Alpo used to go to Dapper Dan and get all the fly, Louie. You know what I'm saying? Fendi, Gucci, you name it. So I guess it was like a little competition. So once again, here it is. If you listen to what Dapper Dan said about Boy George, Boy George is saying right now, who this can't help him? Right now was, I got more money than him. I'm making more money than him. So once again, right now was, my lieutenant got more money than him. And you know what, folks, listen, who to say whether that was true, whether it wasn't true. Back then, everybody was getting money, but they was doing it the wrong way. You sit back and think about Boy Joy allegedly supposed to have made like $15 million within a couple years span. So when you sit back and you look at it, guess what? 21 years old, 22 years old, making that type of money. But what did he do to make that money? What? Selling drugs, selling heroin, killing people, you name it. Guess what? He been in jail since, what, 1989? So you talking about 33 years. 33 years that man been in jail, he got life. He been in jail for 33 years. But back then, within a two-year span, he lived it up. Going, buying all the fancy you know, cars, all the foreign cars. Wearing the dapper dance. All that luxury. The jewelry. The girls. Going from Puerto Rico back and forth, buying property. Making all that money. But once again, here it is. Look what happened when he caught the case. He went down. He been in there. He's 21. He been in there 33 years. He been in jail longer than he was free. So once again, he went in at 21. It's 33 years later. He's 54. But you sit back and you think about it. Is it worth it? Once again, being in competition with somebody else, you know, trying to make fast money. Is it worth it? You sit back. How many nights he went to bed crying, wishing he had a chance to do it all over again, wishing it would have been something totally different. You know, we too busy. And that shit is a competition. Every day on that street is competition. Who got the biggest jewelry? Who got the biggest chain? Who got the biggest medallion? Who got the biggest and the flyest car? Who got the biggest house? Who making the most money? The wrong way. Imagine right now, if you want to be in competition, guess what? Who can be an A student? Who can graduate, you know what I'm saying, right now with a law degree, a doctorate degree? Who can become a medical doctor? Who can become, you know what I'm saying, the president of the United States, the vice president of the United States? Who can become the CEO of a Fortune 100, Fortune 500 company? That's what the competition should be about. Not who's the biggest, who's the baddest, who's the toughest, who made the most money. Because once again, like you say, look at Alpo. They both made money. He made money, Alpo made money. And it was supposed to be a, a alleged rumor that boy George was supposed to have told Alpo, you know what, if you show me $1 million, I'll give you $2 million. That never happened. But once again, ooh, come on. All this for what? All this competition for what? All this, like you know what I'm saying, negative energy for what? Kids. Boys, girls, young adult, anybody that's out there that's at risk, man, it's not worth it. Like I say, this man had a two-year run. It doesn't matter how much money he made. Was it worth it? It wasn't worth it. Same thing right now with Alpo. Right now, it didn't matter how much money he made. He did, what, 20-something years. Came home. Stayed home for, what, four or five years. And right now, died. Was it worth it? Like I told you when I was out there. Guess what? I did everything from A to Z. I lost 15 years out of my life that I cannot get back. And I can honestly say it was not worth it. When I was in there, my mother died. Couldn't go to the funeral. Right now, couldn't go there for my son's first birthday, second birthday, third birthday, fourth birthday, fifth birthday, sixth birthday, seventh birthday, eighth birthday. How many birthdays missed? How many Thanksgiving is missed? How many Christmas? How many New Year's is missed? How many Fourth of July is missed? How many Memorial Days miss? How many Labor Days miss? How many Valentine Days miss? Father Day, Mother Day, all that stuff. Graduation, you know, all that stuff is what? Wedding, gone. Because once again, 
we chasing behind the wrong dream. We too busy in love with materialistic stuff. Not understanding, guess what, folks? It's not worth it. So to me, like I said, when you listen to what 50 Cent about to do with another piece, probably on a Boy George, shout out. I think he'll do a great job on it. But was it worth it? Boy George. Look what he's Japanese dancing. Here you go. So he going to Dapper Dan right now. Who is this cat? Who is this dude Alpo? Who is Alpo? Because Alpo name is ringing bell. So when people start hearing your name out there, guess what? But his name is out there for the wrong reason, man. Let your name be out there because you're a doctor. Let your name be out there because you're a lawyer. Let your name be out there because once again, you're doing something for your community. You're, you're a CEO. You're a CFO. You're an executive. You're a director. Let your name be out there for the right reason, man. Not, yo, who this guy Alpo? You know, or my, my lieutenant's got more money than him or whatever. Do it matter? Was it worth it? My question to George Rivera. Boy, George, was it worth it? And you know what? Like I told you right now, anybody in a rightful state of mind, in a rightful state of mind that been through the crack era, been through the dope era, been through all that unnecessary trial and tribulation, guess what? They can honestly live up and say, it wasn't worth it, folks. I don't care what anybody say. There's no shortcut in life. Only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into, hard to get out. Stop picking up that brick, throwing at that prison wall for absolutely nothing. It's not worth it. When you hear that door slam, boom, clink. Right now, lockdown, lights off. It's not worth it, folks. It's not worth it. Hey, listen, subscribe, share, support. Get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book, The Brian Glaze Gift Story. A true story of crack, money, murder, and redemption. Listen, folks, if I can change, anybody can change. Peace, love, and prosperity. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.